Hiya! Uh, today we are making a wind chime mobile type thing for the garden using a tin can. So I have a tin here. I'm using a little one of anchovies. Uh, not anchovies, olive stuff with anchovies. Um, I plead guilty to that one. Um, I've drilled three holes in it because I'm going to have three lots of dangly bits coming down. Um, and I've drilled two in the top so I can hang it as well. So. Um, what I've done is I was meant to use the lids of tin cans, but we don't eat enough tins, food out of tins. So what I've done is I've cut some copper, but you can use the lid of the cans that you're kind of recycling. Um, and all I've done, let me turn you down, is I have painted patterns on them um, using nail varnish because nail varnish will stick beautifully. Um, and is really really resilient um, and I you can coat the whole thing if you want to so I've got one here somewhere that one where I've painted the whole can lid piece of copper whatever you want to use um, and then just put the pattern on top but if you want to I quite like the color of the metal coming through and especially if it's going to hang outside because it's all shiny then um, because when the light hits it, it's like, wow, sparkly. So what I've done is I've put a, we're going to pretend these are can lids. So let's just talk about uh, these are the can lids. I've put a hole in the top and the bottom, um, just with a drill. And then I have painted them using nail varnish. And as you can see, they're really still flexible because nail varnish generally is. Um, really vibrant colours. Now I just had, what did I have? So I had a purple don't know why I've never worn purple nail varnish. Um, I think they must have come in packs. I've got a kind of teal colour, which is quite pretty. I used to have a lovely um, blue, but that's gone missing. I've used a gold, which actually is very subtle, but... Oh, here it is. It's quite pretty, actually, and it's subtle too. Um, and then red, because I've always got red. And I've got black nail varnish. Again, I have no idea why I have black nail varnish, but I do. So... I have decorated them and then I have just strung them. Now I've used wire, you can use string, you can use thread, um, whatever you've got really, there's no right and wrong way and I've just strung them together and I've put them three deep, yeah, so I've got three on a string um, together and all I'm going to do is attach them through the holes to my tin can. So essentially this is the top, this is the bit that holds it all together. Um, so because I'm using wire I'm just going to twist it, obviously if you're using string you can just knot it. Um, and I've tried to form a pattern with my things as well, so they're like stripe, spot, um, swirl. And I'm going to kind of do them at different heights, so they're not all the same. That makes sense, but you could have them all the same height if you wanted to. That's entirely up to you. Okay, I've got a bit too much wire for that one. Um, and then we have this one really, really long here. Yeah. So it's a really quick and easy one to do. I mean, if you wanted to and you didn't want to use the lids of the cans, you can always just cut discs and then laminate them. And they'll still look pretty in the garden and get the kids to decorate them. Um, so now that I've done that, I've now got my tin can at the top and I want to kind of hide it. So I'm going to do exactly the same as I did with the insect house and the um, bird feeder. And I've just printed off and I've just gone for quite a funky pattern and I'm just going to wrap it around the outside really nice and tight and then I'm using double sided sticky tape again you don't have to this is a personal choice so and then I've got another piece of wire or string according to what you prefer and I'm just going to put it through the two holes in the top and then pull it through so that I can hang it so I will just twist those together um, if you're really adept you could have done it inside the tin so you've got no sharp bits but that is how to make 
a tin can mobile or because it will make a little jangling noise um like wind chime which looks quite pretty in the so i'll see you tomorrow for more bye